Okay, guys. AMA 8. I'm tired. <laughs> so tired. But AMA 8. Um, let's just get started. Alright. Where was it? Here we go. Dawit asked, what, ask what, uh, what programming language did you learn when you first began and or what do you recommend for beginners? Um, um, it depends on what you want to do. Um, what I learned first was PHP. I was doing WordPress sites, uh, mostly my own. I just wanted to brand myself. I was like into branding and marketing. So I had wanted to learn PHP so I could um, build my own websites more often, quicker, change things that weren't necessarily in the theme. And so I learned a little bit of PHP. Bought a book on it, never really got into it. Bought a course on Ruby, uh, one month Rails Ruby. It was one of still a Skillshare class and it was like small, it was like nothing. Now they're like a huge enterprise or whatever. And um, it took me like a year to actually do that course. Uh, I did it once and like just like went through it, didn't really like learn anything, um, just kind of followed the steps, learned a little bit, got a taste for it. But I really liked coding, I knew I liked coding. And so um, after a little while I had, I kept doing the WordPress thing and I built a business off of that. We did like a branding design firm called Bridge. We still have it. Yeah, and I started learning Ruby again because I wanted to be able to build sites from scratch and kind of went from there. So I took, I revisited that, cor that same course and did that course. Not too long after, I like made the decision to move to New York City and pursue my dreams full time. Like I knew that I wanted to be a, a programmer, and I knew I wanted to do it full time. I got here, didn't take off right away, and um, took a little while to get on my feet because I literally within two weeks of making that decision, I had sold everything I owned and moved here. Like I, don't, I was on a plane on my way here uh, with no plan. I had, a, I had a place to stay for a week uh, with a buddy uh, on his couch and um, a couple grand in my pocket from selling everything. And I turned that into what, what it is now. After a little while of being here, I decided to go back to school. And so in school, I took a bunch of programming courses. I decided to take uh, Java as one of my courses because I knew that I wanted to take one language and I just want to focus on it. And I had been in, in the game long enough to know that Java was the, was the one I wanted to go with. I knew that you could do anything with it. If I wanted to program iOS, I could, I could do that with um, Android. If I wanted to work with servers, I could do that. If I want to be in the networking on the back end, whatever. Um, you could literally do anything. You could build software. So like, it was like the full package for me. And it was the most used language at the time. It, it comes native on nine, like on pretty much all devices. We were just talking about this earlier tonight on our Slack channel, uh, which I'll link below. Um, but yeah, it comes native on 99% of devices because of how strict the syntax, syntaxing of it is. Your code always looks good no matter what. Like you have to try to make it not look good. And as a beginning dev, like that's that's huge because you don't want to have to spend time not only learning a language but also learning how you should be formatting it and everything like that and commenting and stuff. I mean, basically, as long as you comment out your methods uh, and you follow the object-oriented um, framework, then you're then you're fine. Like you really can't can't go too wrong. Um, one thing I will say that helped me the most, because um, I ended up going so far with Java is to get uh, Oracle certified. Um, so I went, well, I went pretty much all the way with Java. I took the regular Java course and then the advanced. All through my beginning Java course, it took me like twice as long to do the assignments um, in, in the first one. Uh, because I just wanted to hand code everything um, in Atom, in Atom IO, instead of using uh, Eclipse, which is what they're using, which has some drag and drop features and stuff, so you could like build a lot of it quicker. Um, but I want, like, I, for some reason, I just wanted to, like, I wanted to. I, fit, I thought that I would learn more. I want to get my hands dirty, so to speak, and um, and I did. And then halfway through my advanced course, I finally started using Eclipse, even though they said like you can't code with anything else. You need to use Eclipse. This is what the professionals use. Blah blah blah. And, um, and I just pretty much started doing that for time. I started using Eclipse, and then we used NetBeans a little bit. But I say Java is the first real course where like, when I said I love tech, that was the first one when I said it and I knew what I was saying. Like when I, when I, after I had taken my Java courses, I was like, when I said I love being, I love programming, I love coding, whatever. That's when I was like, now I know what that means to say that like out loud. Um, and I actually know what you're talking about. 
Uh, it's an elegant language. It's just elegant. Like it's a good language to learn. Um, so yeah, check into Java. Uh, you can also check in like Python, Ruby. Um, you can even start with Swift if you want to move right into iOS de development. Um, Ruby if you want to do like web and Ruby on Rails and still be able to do like software and stuff. Um, in Python, you can do a bunch of other crap. I don't really. <laughs> I'm not that big in Python to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's it. So Java. Uh, and join the Slack channel down below. Subscribe if you're on the YouTube channel right now. Um, am I pointing the right way? It could be that way. It could be that way. Um, whatever. I don't know. But anyways, later guys. <laughs> What's up guys? Okay. Um, AMA7 here. Ray Hillstone asks, uh, I want to accelerate my learning curve. Do you have a good list of coding books that you'd recommend reading? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay.